Hey Vites, I'm Cadence. And I'm Alexis. And you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Spring break this year was a little different this year due to COVID. Let's go check out what people did. We were interested to see what people did over spring break this year with coronavirus. Let's go check it out. We interviewed Alexis Leonard, sophomore, Weedy Nelson, senior, and Victoria Staley, junior, to see what they did over spring break this year. Let's see what Alexis Leonard said first. Um, I went to Overland Park to go shopping. That's about it. Did you do anything that could affect the rest of the school Not really. We kept our distance from people, so. Let's see what Weedy Nelson has to say uh, next. Just kind of hung out and chilled and didn't do a whole lot besides clean around the house a little bit, do some spring cleaning over break for a couple days. And then uh, after that, just hanging out with friends, uh, drive around, cruise around on the days it wasn't raining. Last but not least, let's see what Victoria has to say. Yes, I did. I was supposed to go to Colorado with a friend, and since it COVID, I got canceled. Did you do anything over spring break that could jeopardize the rest of the school year because of COVID? Since my plans to Colorado got canceled, I did not get to do anything, so no. The first two questions we asked was if anyone did anything over spring break and did they do anything that could jeopardize the rest of the school year or affect them in any way possible with coronavirus. Sadly, most people did not get to do something because of coronavirus, but Tara, one of our editors, got to, so let's see some pics from Florida. That's all we have, Vikes. So now, back to your anchors. Sounds like everyone had a fun time. Congratulations to Kevin Wynn, Karsten Anderson, and Gwen Van Leeuwen. They were elected by our SHS Key Club members to serve as the 2021-2022 club officers. Have you ever thought it would be cool to host a student from another country? If you are interested in hosting an exchange student next year, please see Mrs. Martinez for more details. Interact's March service project to raise money for the North Topeka outreach will continue throughout the end of the month. Make sure to keep donating. Attention sophomores looking for community service hours? Stop by and see Mrs. Simino in E12 or email her for more information. Juniors, any junior that is wanting to graduate at semester next December and miss the meeting, please see Mr. Alexander ASAP. Attention seniors, if you plan on bringing an underclassman for prom as your date, please pick up your underclassman date request from Mrs. Varner in the front office. Seniors, if you are looking for scholarships, see your Class of 2021 page for more information. Now let's go check out the weather with Zoe. Good afternoon, Vikings. Today is going to be our highest chance of rain this week as it continues to move through the area. Today is National Chip and Dip Day, so make sure to have some chips with dip. Today we are going to be fairly warm with our temperatures being up into the 60s, but we are expecting thunderstorms and rain showers throughout the whole day to continue into the later this night. For your SVTV 7 day forecast, our temperatures have been in the 50s for the couple, next couple of days before we warm back up into the 60s and the rain moves out of the area besides a few chances here and there. Now back to your anchors. Thanks Zoe. The Lady Viking soccer team has their first home game tonight against Manhattan. JV plays at 4.30 and varsity starts at 6.15. Come out and support your Lady Vikings. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.